Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to take another look at WebSockets in LightStar and basically uh, we want to dissect how uh, and what rules are applied when you are using WebSockets. So let's call this uh, advanced socketing.py and from <laughs> LightStar we import the web socket and the web socket and the light star classes and from light star light star dot handlers dot web socket handler we import the web socket route handler so there are three rules that you have to consider when you are creating uh, <coughs> WebSocket based context routes in your application. The first rule is that the function must have a socket keyword argument. We will see what this means. And it must return annotation of none and it must be asynchronous. So when you are working with HTTP based context route basically you can uh, define async and functions without async but in websockets you can only use async now we have the websocket decorator for the path and we call it socket and async def my websocket handler and the socket takes the web socket as the argument and returns none this is one of the rules and basically we can say that we await socket that accept then await socket that send json and the name is daniel and the age is 32 and await socket that close and now basically what we can do is to create our light star instance with the route handlers and we add my web socket handler now if i run this application with the uv corn <coughs> web socket handlers it's plural Uh, what we can do is to open up another prompt and here we pip install uh, web sockets all right and if we open the python interpreter we can create import the web sockets and the async io and then async def message we can use the async with web sockets connect vs 127.001.8000 socket as socket and say that print await socket dot receive so basically we want to connect and wait for something to be sent over the socket and then we can use the async io get event loop run until complete message 
405. What is happening? Method not allowed. We have the socket. All right. Let's do this once again. Am I connecting to the right place? <coughs> we have the message. And here. Email status, server rejected, socket connection. Method not allowed. But why? Not supported WebSocket library detected. But I have just <laughs> installed the WebSocket. <coughs> All right. So pip install uv corn standard mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe we were missing something let's activate our virtual environment so source the str bin activate and here what we would like to do is to define the message and define the context manager and print await socket receive and the run until complete. Import web sockets. And it's working. So basically the UVCorn has the appropriate web sockets dependencies so once I went to the right place and installed the right module, it was able to communicate. All right. And there is another thing that I want to show you. So basically the WebSocket decorator is just an alias to the WebSocket route handler. So basically if I switch it out, it has to work exactly the same way. So now, there we are. So this was what I wanted to show you. See you in the next one.